What's up guys, welcome to part two. Um, this one's gonna be a lot quicker. <laughs> so the first one, I definitely underestimated the time to record all that and what should have been a two hour job ended up being probably four or five in the garage and then another countless amount of hours editing all that stuff down, real tedious stuff. Um, but for part two, all we're doing is checking out the clutch and transmission. Should be much quicker, a um, little faster paced video and also less time uh, because I'm running out of time. So stay tuned, here we go. clutch out and the first thing we want to do is measure our stack height which is basically just taking a measurement of this distance um, see where we're at because we use that distance to adjust uh, how much slip we get out of the uh, slipper so well we use that and we use these springs so but anyway that's what we got to do first is measure that Point five seven five three thirty nine point five, which I think is exactly where I want to be. Really shouldn't have much uh, wear on it. I don't know. I think I did adjust it once in the middle of the season, so it's probably got maybe 500 miles on it since the last time it was adjusted but I'll check my notes see what they say okay so yeah like I said uh, just measured that 39 and a half and looking at my notes from last year don't know if you can really see that but that is we were at 39.7 and 39 and a half is uh, pretty much the limit so we wouldn't want to go any smaller. There we go. Um, or any shorter. We might, if we did, get slipping when we don't want it. Um, but I think we'll start with that. Now we just need to get an old transmission shift. Can't really remember where I put it. Might have lent it to somebody. Um, but stick a, stick an old shaft in a vise throw the whole clutch assembly on it so that we can measure the stroke and once we're done with that we can pull the transmission out start checking clearances there looking over all the gears making sure there's no problems and that'll do it okay so we got our indicator hooked up on the pressure plate of our clutch we're zeroed out and basically we're just looking to see how much does our pressure plate lift uh, as we spin the basket because that's putting it up on the slider ramps and we're looking for uh, 0 0.45 to 0.75 millimeters which is about 20 thousandths to 30 thousandths uh, a little less than 20 thousandths actually but 
that's the range we should be in so we'll see what we end up at and we're actually hitting high 40 thousandths about 47 48 yeah 47 or 48 thousand so we got a bit of extra stroke there it's gonna give us a lot of slip um, I think I'll probably actually throw a, a thicker steel in to bring that down just a little bit and we should be good look good so now I'll just take our feeler gauges and make sure nothing's gonna be too tight 